Hi everyone, uh, my name is Shannon Nutt and I chose the book I Miss You by Pat Thomas. Um, this is for my loss, trauma, and resilience class at Kirkwood. The author, Pat Thomas, is a psychotherapist and journalist, and she now mostly works in the child development field. This book is recommended for children aged 4 to 8, um, and it's suggested in the part that is like addressing parents for when a child is grieving or when a parent has experienced a loss to help the child understand what the parent's dealing with and why their behavior might be a little bit different. Um, it could also be suggested for when a child uh, could be preparing to lose someone, like if a family member has an illness that is terminal or something like that. Um, I think this book should be read with the child and to the child. I wouldn't suggest that they read it alone. I anticipate they'd have a lot of questions about some of the things in this book. The reviews were mostly positive. Um, this book addressed a lot of things about how death works and how people might feel and act afterward and sort of the process. So it talks about like what a funeral is like um, and how family members might respond to that death or to also to the child and to the grieving process. Um, reviewers noted that this book was very non-religious, um, and a lot of people thought it was positive for the most part. Um, one reviewer stated that it prepared her child in a way that she couldn't, and I can see how that, how that would be. I don't have children, but I can see why some of the matter-of-fact ways that the book presents things would be something that could be hard for a parent to come up with to say to their child. Um, so that made sense to me. Uh, another reviewer stated that the intro of every day someone is born and every day someone dies was too harsh. Um, I don't really think that's too harsh. Uh, death is exactly like that and life is exactly like that. And I think it's important to expose children to the reality of that. Um, and I think the parent is there too so that they can help kind of maybe tone that down if they feel it's too strong, but I don't really think it is. One thing I also liked about this book was that it talked about like the guilt you could feel after someone dies, about how you wish you might have said something differently or not said it at all. Um, and I think that's really important to address too because a lot of people experience that, especially not just children. Um, one reviewer said that they thought that the book was too depressing and too sad. Uh, death is sad and it's okay for it to be sad. It's going to be sad for everyone. Um, and I think it's important to try to teach children to be comfortable feeling those uncomfortable emotions. We all have to be. So I think that's really important. Um, another reviewer said they felt like the book was too impersonal. I can see where that would come from. They didn't offer a lot of information about like how to feel better. But I think that the reality is for me and my experience is at least that, you know, time makes it more comfortable and less, less difficult to deal with. Um, and some people didn't like the lack of religion, and I think that's just kind of a matter of opinion. I think that the goal was to make it as versatile as possible. A couple quotes from the book that I liked. One, one was, when someone dies, it's normal to think of things you wish you had said or things you wish you hadn't. Um, I've experienced that too, and it's very normal to experience that, but it also addressed how the person would love you for who you were and not what you said to them. Another thing that the book said was the things you learn from that person stay inside of you and become a part of you. And this is very true too. I think it's important to address that just because someone has passed doesn't mean that they're gone. They're completely gone. Their body is gone, um, but parts of them will still stay with you. So overall, I would recommend this book and I would definitely read it to a child. It gives the facts about death and what happens after death in a way that I think is easy to understand. And it also addresses that death is uncomfortable and that that's normal for it to be uncomfortable. And I think that's a really, really important thing. Um, so thank you guys for listening. Bye-bye.